In this demonstration, we're going to create an async periodic relationship between two three-par systems. So the first thing we're going to do is back up a second. I'm going to go to Remote Copy Configurations, Create a Configuration, and then I'm going to pick my two systems that I'm going to create this relationship with, and then pair them up. Easy, right? Click Create. And I'll go ahead and bind those two together in their remote copy relationship. Take just a second. Eventually. There we go. Took a little refresh. Okay, so now we've got these two and they're in a um, uh, just a, a remote copy connection. All right, so there's no groups running on it yet. And this is where we define that it's a periodic mode and that there's um, you know data assigned to it. So we'll see 3PJ uh, RC periodic. And we'll just pick the some CPGs if it needs to take snapshots or whatever. Synchronous mode. Uh, nope, we're gonna do periodic. Enable that every five minutes and put that in. Not in that. Still not in that. There we go. Okay, start group after completion. Yes. There's not any volumes in there. I don't care. I'll add the volumes later. Uh, speaking of volumes, let's go ahead and create some. Uh, 3PJ BB, and then we will put them in the same CPG in our group, say 100 gig, and we'll do three of them, and uh, sure, let's go ahead and export them to a host. Uh, let's see, I've got Sky reserves, I'll say him, create. All right, so now we got three volumes being created. I'm going back to remote copy groups. Those volumes are being created. So then I'll edit the group. And then at the bottom, I'll add those source volumes. And that'll be the uh, three PJ ones. Guess they're not created yet. Oh, you know, I wonder what host I was on when I did that, let's see. Virtual volumes, 64, that's why. Wrong box, delete those. Yes, okay. Now we'll create volumes, because I didn't pay attention. 3PJ, VV, same thing. Additional settings, we'll do three of those. Now I'll click create. Now we'll be on the right, right thing here. Okay. So it's created the volume. So now we can edit this group. Go to the bottom. Add source, 3PJ. There they are. Grab those, add them. Okay. Now we're done. Easy, easy. So we've got our source volumes. Eventually, once they get added to the group. There they are, and our target volumes, which once it takes a snapshot and replicates, we'll see them on EOS 64. Another quick way to look at that is from the CLI, we do show our copy. And then here I can see my relationship with EOS 64 is currently up and active, and that I have three volumes that are associated in periodic mode five minute snapshots and they are currently in sync. And then if I go to, let me exit this guy, and I go to the other system, 64, we can see, see show our copy, and here it is, all those links are up line S3, it's all in sync, periodic mode, five minutes. There we go. So now we can see that they've replicated, snapshots have been created, we look at our target volumes, there's our target volumes, so we're all set to go. 
So that's uh, easy, remote copy, asynchronous, periodic, with remote copy groups. Thanks a lot.